Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading uh, for November 2021. This is a general reading Sagittarius. It will not resonate with every single one of you so please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. We have, um, I like to start off the monthly readings with the new moon and the full moon but first let me welcome you to my channel if you're new here. Welcome to Forest for the Trees. I appreciate you being here so very much. If you're returning, thank you for your energy. Thank you for your trust and support. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for all the things, uh, all the comments. Uh, I really appreciate all of you. So Sagittarius, <clears throat> anything you need is going to be in the description below. So check that out if you'd like to know more about your, your, your um, moon and rising signs. Um, if you like a personal private reading with me, my website's listed below. And if you'd like to know what decks of cards I'm using, they're all listed below too. All right, we have the new moon on um, November the 4th. It's a new moon in Scorpio. It, it talks about working through your fears. Working through your fears, Sagittarius, what are you afraid of? What what do you need to um, to work on this month? What do you need to kind of go in deep, go into your feelings, delve in, really feel it, um, try to go as deep as possible. Try to get some resolve. Um, it can be an emotional exchange that you have going on with um, yourself or another person this month. But it can also be a time of rebirth and a new start um, ahead for you with the new moon energy also. And again, work, <clears throat> work through your fears. Work on them. Go through them. Um, I've been saying walk through your fears because that's... You know, that's kind of what you need to do. Uh, one step at a time. Don't be afraid to go as deep as you need to go. You know, Scorpio will allow you to do that because that's what they do. And then we have the full moon in Taurus coming up um, on November the 19th. And I believe it's also a lunar eclipse. Um, again, I don't know that much about astrology. I just put a little bit together to give you a heads up. There's plenty of people out there that are wonderful and know a whole lot more than I do. So check those out. Um, so the full moon of Taurus is, you know, learning acceptance. Learn to accept yourself. Um, learn to accept yourself for who and what you are. Learn that change is part of life, right? And sometimes that's hard to accept. We don't like change. You know, we like things to be um, the same. But really, in reality... You know, we're not the same yesterday as we are today and vice versa. We won't be the same tomorrow. Um, you might need, have a need for stability, more stability this month, Sagittarius. Um, you might find it hard to come by. You might be um, having a hard time with your own self-respect and self-acceptance. So, you know, you you... Try not to seek it from outside sources. You need to go within. It goes back to this, you know, work through your fears, going deep. Um, what you don't want to do is look for external sources to fill that gap. Because what happens, Sagittarius, is you can look for material things, overspending. You know, you might go off budget just to compensate something that you're lacking. Whoa, sorry about that. My dog just pulled the light down. Oh, hang on just a second. Woo! Lights, lights everywhere. All right. Okay. And, um, you know, the sooner you can accept yourself for who you are and be proud of it and be, you know, owning it, then I think you'll find more peace and tranquility it, and it'll be easier for you to find the balance that you are looking for, Sagittarius. So, this month, again, November 4th, new moon in Scorpio. November 19th, full moon in Taurus. And I believe it's a lunar eclipse, but you can check out other channels for that because I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it is. All right, enough about the moons, but... Is there ever enough about the moons? I don't think so. Sagittarius. Let's get this set up over here. Whoops. This goes this way. It goes that way. All right. We're going to pull a card for the month. The energies for the month. 
for you. So how are you all doing? How is November treating you all if you're into November so far? How was October? How did October treat you? Um, did you have a good one? Did you have a good Halloween? Did you have a good Samhain? If you all celebrate, I hope so. This popped right out. Death. Lovely. Card of Scorpio. Transformation. Letting something go so something new can can come in. Um, I feel major house clearing, too. Major house clearing. Letting go of what no longer serves you. Again, accepting things we cannot change. Um, what's holding you back? What can you change? If you hear crunching, my dog has a bone. I'm sorry. But he's quiet-ish. All right. Sagittarius. Let me do this real quick. Let me pull some. <laughs> As ashes go everywhere. Let me pull some Palo Santo. Give a quick smudge. So, again, Halloween. Did you all dress up? Did you have parties? What did you all do? I go watch my grandson trick-or-treat. So, that's always fun. Alright, there we go. Ah, I wish y'all could smell. It's wonderful. Okay, let's get started on this reading for you. I just wanted to waft the cards through this. Beautiful smoke energy. Anyway, November. So getting ready for Thanksgiving. Getting in the States. I think uh, Canada already had theirs. And I'm not sure about other countries when theirs are. But uh, ours is coming up in November. We probably will not have it with my family again, but that's okay because of COVID. But here we are. All right. Sagittarius. November 2021. Wow, we start out with the chariot. Movement forward. Card of Cancer. Stability. You're moving towards something very stable. You're moving towards something... That is very grounding for you. Um, Four of Wands can also be a card of celebration. So you could be moving towards something new. Some people call it a marriage card. Um, there could be a shift in the energies in a relationship. Uh, but it can also just be moving some... I just feel you're moving towards something more stable. You're moving, you know, this death card. Letting something go. Um, moving away from what no longer serves you. To being the, the, the in charge of your own destiny, in charge of where you're going, and you're moving towards stability. And it looks like, you know, uh, a little, maybe a little bit of solitude too, Sagittarius. Possibly some solitude. So the past energy we have, oh, worry and anxiety, sleepless nights. Nightmares, bad dreams, really being um, in your head a lot at night, not being able to shut your mind off. Um, you know, having that, it could come from this, where you don't know what to do. You don't know how to get out of a situation, right? You're just stuck. It's almost like a prison. To where you make your mind up with the chariot to move. You know, I got to get out of here. I'm moving forward. I'm headed towards stability. I'm headed towards something that I know I can handle. I'm headed towards something I know I can control. Now, the Six of Cups card coming into the future is a card of nostalgia. It's a card of re-remembering how things were. And I always give a warning with this card, especially if it's in a relationship. Because you could have broke up with a relationship. You could move forward. This could be your worrying and worry and anxiety about the relationship. You know, the chariot taking 
you know, charge making a decision to, to move forward into something more stable. Six of Cups can be, just say you broke up with an ex where you are really mad at them and you're really upset and just never going to talk to them. And then a month or two passes and you're going, oh, that wasn't that bad. They were kind of sweet. They did treat me nice. They did do this. You know, we start re-remembering stuff. But what you have to do is also re-remember the bad. I'm not saying there wasn't good times or good moments, but you also have to put it all into perspective. And um, this could also be the ex trying to resurface and trying to come back. So that's a heads up for that for that present energy or that future energy. Um, I will pull a clarifier on that if I remember. The foundation energy that leads you to this um, movement forward of stability, moving towards stability is the eight of wands. And that is fast moving energy. You could have had a lot of, um, information coming in at you in towards you at the same time, something really fast. You could, have, you know, just say this involved an X and you could have opened up a, um, I don't know, a file of theirs and just boom, 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 boom. Things you really didn't want to know that you're learning. Very fast moving energy, very fast paced energy, kind of like the chariot. But this is messages coming in. So you could, again, have found out a lot about somebody really, really quick. And it led to a lot of, you know, of anxiety and sleepless nights and despair and, you know, almost like beating yourself up over something or blaming yourself for something. I should have known better. Why didn't I know better? know better? Why didn't I see things coming or whatever? The way you can counteract that is that if this person is trying to come back, you don't let them. If Again, it's your, your choice. Um, but if this person is not a very uh, upstanding, savory person, you might want to, um, you know, again, rethink all that. So we have um, the present energy. We have a new job opportunity, possibly. We have new money coming in, um, being offered to you. You could be being paid for something that um, you wouldn't think you'd be that you were going to get paid for. You know what I mean? Like, um, like to say you, you braid hair and you've always braided hair. And then someone's like, oh my gosh, if you could braid hair for our wedding, I'll pay you whatever. And you're like, I've never gotten paid for that before. It, it, it's kind of that um, um, kind of awe moment. Like, oh, I can, I'm good at this and I can make money on it, you know, or I, I, um, I could side job it, right? A side hustle, but it's new, new coming in. Um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy it is grounding earth energy the pinnacles are your your health and well it's more of your wealth sector your material your possessions uh, anything in the physical world any type of realizations uh, with ideas uh, material gain anything that like that is in your um, in your pinnacles and it's the ace so it's new coming in it's not something um, that you've done before. It's not something, it's not a way you've made money before. So this is new money coming in. You're in the present moment of doing that. So that could be too, um, you know, coming out of that worry and anxiety going into that money sector. Now this person, if there, if this is a person from your past that wants back in, um, you know what, let me go ahead and pull a clarifier on that person. But if they're a person from your past that wants back in, uh, they could hear, oh, you know, so-and-so is doing this now and, and they're doing this and they're doing really well for themselves. So just know that there could be our ulterior motives. If there were in the past, they could be in the present. And the reason I say it's a relationship, now it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be family, friends, but you have to let it go. It has to go. It has to end. All right. Clarifier on the Six of Cups, please. And, you know, the Six of Cups can be a card of wanting what was. Um, wanting how maybe a relationship started or how a past relationship was. Wanting to go back to that energy. Look at that. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? You can't make this up. Card of Balance. 
Six of Cups, Clarifier is Balance. So, again, you want that give and take. You want that... Um, you you um if if this person wants back in you have to see that this person has changed or this person can do something or this person can control themselves they have to have the balance they could have been an imbalanced person um even if it's a friend of yours that you have to break up with they could have some imbalance it could be a chemical imbalance they could go off their medication something like that um but again i'm going with the overall energy for the month is the death card letting something go so something new can start you're ready to move ahead with the chariot into something more stable. And I think, honestly, you're thinking of maybe the past energy where it was more balanced. Or moving into a present energy that is more balanced. And not that chaotic or not that, um, not that, you know, that struggle. Not that struggle. All right. Your energy. Your energy is a high priestess. Beautiful energy. It's about going within. Um, you know, kind of turning off all the external everythings. Going within, feeling, and this is the energy you're in now. This is your energy. Feeling what you need to feel. Really being honest with yourself. It goes back to that Scorpio. Going deep. Go deep and look at the moon, you know, that moon energy going deep, going, being raw, being, being very honest with yourself, um, seeing how you can move forward. It's a, uh, you know, there's balance and choices that you can make, but it's really about what you want to happen or what you want to. How do you want to control your future? How do you want to direct your future? Because of that chari chariot card that's underneath. I almost said Cheerios. <laughs> uh, but you have, you know, the High Priestess is also about balance. And it's also about uh, seeing the dark and the light and the good and the bad. And, and having, that, um, having that beautiful energy that you control. Right? Creating. Creating what you want. Creating the life you want. Having that ability. Knowing you have that ability. Trusting your gut instinct. Trusting yourself. Your energy. It's like, yep, I'm trusting me. That's I think that's where the chariot comes in. And moving more toward... Um, balance right moving more toward structure moving more toward security the energy around you is a, a princess of pentacles so that is again new energy it can be about this money coming in um if this is a trade it's something you're learning it's something that's new to you if you're doing something that you haven't done before um, and it can be a message coming in about money. If you put resumes out there, if you've done something like you're, you're trying to patent an idea or whatever, uh, whatever this new beginning is, if you're trying to patent it or trying to send it out or trying to, um, um, you know, get like a test market, you're, you're going to get a message about this money coming in or, or the, or this project or this, whatever the material Ness of this is whatever the job part of this is um and the princess of pentacles is not afraid uh they're very eager you know they're very eager to learn and to work and to make things work for them and learn how things work so it's it's that energy around you is very new and very open very open energy especially when it comes to things that you're interested in or things you want to create all right Hopes and fears are the five of swords, and it's a it's a fear card. You're you're afraid that everything you've working, everything that you're working on now, can be taken from you. You know this past energy. You could have lost a lot. You could have lost a lot that you worked on. Um, you might have had to leave something alone or leave something to move forward. Um, again, five is a card of change. Sometimes it's a forced growth card. Um, 
But I think it's your fear that, oh gosh, I hope this doesn't happen again. Or I don't want to put myself in that position uh, for anything like that to happen again. So it can also be a hope card that you, you know, when we know better, we do better. And, you know, you've, it's almost like you've learned your lesson and you know that people are out there that can be mani manipulative and be very, um, very much a bully and very much wanting to take and take and take. And you're not wanting to you know you just don't want things taken you don't want to be bullied you don't want to have that it's like been there done that so it's kind of a fear that you know um again with that nostalgia card you know will i be strong enough can i stand strong enough can i um keep the um momentum going Especially with that Eight of Wands. Can I keep that energy going? Then you have the Prince of Pentacles coming in as your um, outcome card. And that is a beautiful card of stability. It's a card of, again, money coming in. It can be coming in slowly. If you're waiting for money to come in, it will get to you. Things can grow. You can make the money. But it's going to be slow. It's going to be a slow process. It's slow and steady, you know, slow and steady wins the race. So you've got that money coming in. You know, it's going to come in. It might not be coming in all in one lump sum. It might be coming in slowly, but you know, I think, I think it's trickling in. I think you're going to be making money off of whatever it is that you are creating or whatever it is that you have ideas on. Oh, excuse me. The money is coming in. Just just be patient. Just be patient. Just be patient. Again, having that balance, having that stability. Whatever it is that you're side hustling, whatever ideas you're having, it's coming in. It's just, it's, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It's grounded earth energy, and it just, it takes time for it to grow. It just takes time. It's kind of like, you know, the princess is looking at the money. Good reading. It really, really is a good reading. It's it's um, a reading of um, I just see it like a journey. You know? I just feel like it's a journey. I feel like I've been on this journey with you. And I just keep wanting to say, it's okay, it's okay. It's going to turn out okay. Hang in there. Hang in there. It's going to turn out okay. Because you have this beautiful High Priestess Spirit. That's you. You know, just hang in there. Alright. Hope you all aren't into, like, spiders. Oh, sorry. They want me to look on the bottom of the deck. Oh, you're the Prince of Wands energy. Again, new ideas coming in. This comes in fast. Um, new, new, um, spark ideas growth and he is coming in quickly and there is some type of knowledge associated with that card also it's like you've learned you're growing you're you're learning the prince of wands too can be a card of Somebody, and it could be this person that comes in and out of your life. Um, the Prince of Wands is a character, as a person. They'll do anything for you. They will take care of anything that you need, but they won't last. They won't stay. They get bored very easily, and they, they go on to something new, and then they'll come back, and then they leave, and they come back, and then they leave. So, just a heads up. Spider Spirit, make your dreams real. That's exactly what you're doing. That is exactly what you're doing. You're taking the reins in your hands and you are steering the path that you want for stability and growth. That is exactly what you're doing. You're making your dreams real. Hang in there. Hang in there. One more card for you, Sagittarius. And two, Spider... 
you know, the magic, the webs, how everything is connected, how you can see where you started and how far you've grown. You have potential. You know your potential. Right? You know your, your potential. Um, you know your self-worth. You know your potential with the high priestess. What the book says for potential. This is Volcano at Rest is the name of the painting. This card appears when you're ready to activate your potential and step into your strength, right? The chariot under there. I don't want to lift all the cards up. This is the time to activate those gifts that you have had on the back burner in your life. You have an incredible untapped potential. This is a time to allow it to flow. An inner wellspring of power is emerging. You have a profound spiritual power that is deep within you. Do not doubt your great authority and capabilities. Do not doubt your great authority and capabilities. A dormant volcano might indicate that you have uncomfortable emotions that you are repressing or keeping inside, thus creating emotional stress and inner pressure. It can also mean that you are on the verge of a great expansion of energy and life force. Right? Look at this. I mean, look at this. You're going to light the sky up. Right? You have great potential. Be patient. It's coming. You're going to get through this. Hang in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sagittarius. If you know any other Sagittarius, Sagittariuses <laughs> that this sounds like, please feel free to um, share this with them. Um, I really thank you for your time and take care of yourself and each other. Please stay safe and healthy. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed month. Good luck to you all. Let me know how this resonates. Bye for now.